Hi, right. this is your geology instructor. Today we're going to talk about how to calculate flood recurrence intervals, a uh, discussion of flood recurrence intervals as well as flood probabilities is, is given in other, other of my online materials. But uh, So we're going to focus instead on how we actually calculate those. And to begin with, when we talk about floods, we typically talk about discharge, which is the uh, uh, volume per time in the river, so for instance, gallons per minute, but we also talk about stage, and today we're just going to use stage. Stage refers to the height of the uh, water surface in the channel relative to some zero datum, and you might be used to thinking of, of uh, for instance, the depth of water in a channel, and we could work with depth. The problem with depth is that the bottom of the river channel uh, may go down, it may go up over time, and so it's, it's, it's not necessarily consistent between individual floods. So we talk about stage, which uh, by using a, a zero datum, then we're always talking about where the water surface is relative to something that we know, and that, that's our datum. So we're going to look at flood recurrence intervals as a function of stage, and um, when we, when we look at these things, one of the questions that we might ask is, what is the stage of the 100-year recurrence interval flood? And uh, this is a flood that we would expect, on average, to see about once every 100 years. It has a 1% chance of uh, occurring in any given year as well. So, we think of a, a flood. Um, we're going to look at a hydrograph which shows us the amount of water in the channel uh, over time and in this case stage again is the height of the water surface above some datum which is the black line right here and we're going to see how the hydrograph how stage changes during the course of, of a flood. See the water gets deeper, the water gets deeper, it peaks at some point and then the water goes down. When we talk about flood recurrence intervals we're typically talking about the largest flood that occurred in any given year and the peak stage, so the highest stage that the river reached in, in any, any given year. And that's what we're going to work with today. So today we're going to ask what is the stage of the 100-year recurrence interval flood for uh, an example river. To calculate re -flood, flood recurrence intervals, we collect uh, data peak floods, so this is the stage of the largest flood in these particular years, 2003 through 2011. And to calculate uh, flood recurrence intervals, what we need, first need to do is rank these floods in order from the largest to the smallest. The largest will have a rank of 1, the smallest will have a rank of 9 in this case, because we have 9 years of, of data. And um, when we work with these things, we, uh, we're going to do a few simple calculations. One of those calculations requires us uh, to know the total number of, of years, which we're just going to designate as n. And so in this case, we have nine years of data, so n equals nine. Once we have the rank, we're going to calculate probability, which is that rank divided by n plus one. In this case, that's going to be rank divided by 10, and then we'll multiply that times 100 to get the, the probability. Here. And uh, conveniently in this case, if it has a rank of 1, then that's 1 divided by 10 times 100, that's 10%. A rank of 2, 2 divided by 10 times 100, 20%. So things are going to uh, work out easy in terms of the, of the math on these. But after we calculate probability, we can go through then and calculate the recurrence interval, which is again um, what we're most interested in, in in this particular case. But for the Current intervals, just n plus 1 divided by rank, so this is going to be 9 plus 1, or 10, divided by the rank. And we'll see that again here shortly. So, here's our table of data. We're going to order the floods according to rank, and again, the largest flood is going to have a rank of 1. You can see that in this case, it's uh, the 2007 flood, which had a stage of 26. We'll look through the data and we'll find the, the second largest flood. Oh, there it is, 2009. The third largest. The fourth largest. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. 
So we ranked uh, the floods in order of their, their stocks. And now that we have the ranks, then we can go ahead and calculate probability. And again, that's going to be rank divided by 10 in this case. So n plus 1. So rank divided by 10 times 100. And if we do that uh, in order from top to bottom, the probability of the 2003 flood then becomes 30%, 2470. And then I'll just go through quickly and we'll see what these different values are. So now we have the probabilities for the, for the different sized floods. And again, because we have nine years worth of data, the math works out conveniently in that uh, the rank will be three, the probability will be 30. If the rank's one, then the probability's 10. But recurrence intervals typically don't work out so neat. Uh, we're going to calculate recurrence interval, though, again, as n plus 1 over rank, so 9 plus 1 over rank. And uh, for the first of those, then, that would be 10 divided by a rank of 3, so 3.33. We'll do this for 2004, 1.43, so 10 divided by 7, 10 divided by 8, 10 divided by 6, 10 divided by 1, that was a hard one. 10 divided by 4, so 2.5. 10 divided by 2, so 5. Okay, 1. And finally, 10 divided by 5, so recurrence interval of 2 years. And again, this is the average time between uh, these different size floods, although there is a slightly more technical definition that we're going um, to skip for now and even look at the other course material for. So, we have our data, and we need to plot that data. Now, I've posted a separate video that shows you how to plot the data points. And so I'm not going to talk about the actual plotting at the moment. Instead, I'm just going to note that uh, in the exercises and assignments, we'll grab the data points, drag them up, put them on the graph in the appropriate places on the graph paper, and then draw a trend line through them. So please refer to the other video if, if you're not sure how to plot or to learn how to plot. But when you do that, and in this case, again, we're after the 100-year recurrence interval flood, our data would end up looking something like this. And so how are we going to use that to calculate the size of the 100-year flood? Well, the 100-year flood has a, a probability of 1%. And so if that's the case, here we have 1%. We come up till we hit the trend line. Where we hit the trend line then, we're going to turn and go to the left to get the stage. And so in this case, the 100-year recurrence interval flood has a stage of 32 feet. So we were able to plot those nine data points, draw a trend line through them, and then from that estimate the size of the 32-year flood. Now we could just as easily estimate the size of the 50-year flood. And if we did that, that would be right here. We'd come across and very approximately a stage of 30 feet for the 50-year flood. What about the flood with 5% annual probability? Well, 5% annual probability would come up, would go over 28 feet. Okay, And that actually is also the 20-year flood. Note that the 20-year recurrence interval flood is the same as the 5% uh, uh, probability flood. All right? So, Again, here's our completed data, and uh, how to uh, calculate things are, are shown in those final slides. I'll also be posting this PowerPoint presentation as a PowerPoint presentation with the course materials online. And uh, as usual, if you have a question, you're welcome to email me. Thank you.